This is the Ryobi 18 volt water transfer pump. It runs off the Ryobi one plus battery system, which means it operates on the same battery as all your other Ryobi tools. This unit, batteryless, unless you get it as part of a, a kit. Portable, it can do up to a thousand liters of one five amp hour battery, and it can do up to 1500 liters an hour. It also comes with an electronic circuit breaker that means if it runs dry, it's not gonna harm it, it'll stop. It comes with two and a half millimeter mesh grill filter on the bottom. It comes with a standard uh, tap connector, a hose connector, two of those, um, and it's IPX4 rated. It weighs just under 1.5 kilograms. Okay, let's get it open, let's have a look. There's the hose. There is the pump itself, all the instructions, the base, there's the filter that we were talking about, you can see the grill on the bottom of there, and there's your two hose pipe connectors. To load the battery, you open the back, close the back up, and we're ready to go. And here it is. A couple of months ago, I changed over the fushy valve and the filler valve on this toilet. And it's been working fine for a few months, but now it's started to leak a little bit. And I think it's coming um, from the little wing nuts that hold the tile on. You can see, the cycle system is a little bit loose. I think those wing nuts just need tightening up a little bit. So, ordinarily, I get the bucket out, flush the toilet a couple of times, get the marigolds on, and then get rid of the dregs from the bottom of the system using um, a sponge and a bucket, which isn't very nice. So what I think this is gonna do, it's gonna let me drain um, drain the system into the bath, and then I can uh, I can work on the toilet with it empty. You will need your own hose. The pump only comes with one piece of hose, but it does come with uh, a hose lock adapter that you attach and then you can just clip your own hose onto that hose lock adapter and you're good to go. I switched the feed off to the toilet so it's not going to try and refill it as I try and redrain it. I put the feeder hose inside, uh, flush against the bottom of the system and I've also uh, I've flushed it so that it's, it's got rid of most of the water and there's just the dregs in the bottom that we need to do now. I've primed it with a little bit of water um, and prior to that I also added the, uh, the oil that comes with it. So all that uh, remains to happen now is switch it on and see how we go. It had stopped raining by now um, and it was much quicker and cleaner than trying to use a brush. So this is the kind of tool that you don't really know you need it until you need it. It's got so many different uses from emptying the toilet to emptying box sinks, puddles in your garden or anywhere that water gathers and needs draining. It's fairly quiet, the flow rate is good and the battery easily lasts enough to handle the jobs I've thrown at it so far.